Here are some notes on emergence delirium. This is a complex of perceptual disturbances and psychomotor agitation occurring in the early post-anesthetic period. It's most common in preschool children, but it can affect all ages. Some key associations, emergence delirium is most strongly associated with short-acting volatile anesthetics like sevoflurane and desflurane. It's less common after longer-acting volatile anesthetics like isoflurane. The lowest risk is with propofol-based anesthetics, so TIVAs. Some risk factors for emergence delirium, rapid emergence would predispose you, short-acting volatile anesthetics like we said, SIVO and DES, some post-operative pain can make it worse, some surgeries, young age, preoperative anxiety, and certain child temperaments can predispose them to emergence delirium. There are some preventative measures. You can give propofol as a bolus, one mg per kg at the end of surgery. You can do ketamine uh, at the end of surgery or an oral pre-medication of ketamine. Alpha-2 agonists can help, clonidine or dexmedetomidine. Fentanyl can also help 10 minutes before the end of surgery. It's important to note that emergence delirium can lead to post-operative behavioral changes for up to two weeks after surgery. This can include general anxiety, nighttime crying, enuresis, separation anxiety, and increased temper tantrums.